Hello friends. Uh, today we are going to learn correlation. Many students were calling me and asking me, sir, teach correlation. How to do correlation? So this is the class to learn how to calculate the correlation when given data. Okay. Now see, there may be many methods of calculating correlation, but we are using the method called Spearman's rank difference method to calculate correlation. Okay. Now there is a formula given to calculate correlation by this method is p is equal to 1 minus 6 summation d square into n in bracket n square minus 1 bracket complete. This is the formula to calculate the correlation. Okay. Now see the example. Now when we have to calculate correlation in exam we get only these columns 1, 2 and 3. So this they may give they may not give. But this has to be given. So X and Y column. So these are the score we have got. And we have to see the correlation between these two scores. Okay. For these people. So this is we can say subject. So how many subjects are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Total it is N is 9. Okay. And this is the score of these people or the subject for X and for Y factor. These are the scores they have given. So we have to make this column rx ry d and d square all right now how to make it uh, i just discuss about this so we have got this column x and y now we have to make column rx for this column x column okay and ry column for this y column all right now see what to do in this column particularly we have to give the number in ascending order okay like uh, which is the highest number in this column the highest number we can uh, give the number as 1 okay so now see in this 120 is the highest number in this column so 120 is number 1 then we can see after 120 which is the highest number that is 119 is the highest number so we are giving number 2 uh, after that 118 is a third we can give then 115 we can give 4, 110 is 5. Okay. Now, after 110, which is the highest number is coming is uh, 105. 105 we have given as 6. Okay. Now, after that, the highest number after 105 is 100. But 100 coming here twice. So, after 6, it has to be 7 and 8. But because it is similar, we cannot write 7 and 8. So what we have to do is, it is 7 and 8. We have to write 7 plus 8 divided by 2. Why 2? Because this is 2 number, 1 and 2. So 7 plus 8 divided by 2, agar karte, to 7 plus 8 is 15 divided by 2, agar karenge, so we get number 7.5. So we have to write here also 7.5 and here also 7.5. So it happens 7 and 8 and after that, after 100, the highest number is 90. That is we are giving number 9. So we have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Huh? 1. Okay. Now we have to make our Y column for Y column particularly. Here also similar way we have to see which is the highest number to which we can give one number. So there are highest number, uh, it is 65. 65 and 65 is the highest number thrice coming okay so this is for example we can say 1 2 and 3 this number but we cannot give 1 2 3 because a similar number so what we can do we can write 1 plus 2 plus 3 divided by 3 now why 3 because these are 3 numbers so 1 plus 2 plus 3 is becoming 6 divided by 3 if you are doing we get answer 2 okay so now we can write here 2 again we can write here 2 again we can write here 2 so now this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 now after 65 whatever number is coming we can write it as a 4 so 60 we can write 4 then 55 here we can write 5 uh, then uh, 5 ke baad 6 is not there uh, 6 ke liye we have to 52 is number and again here 52 so after 5 we are having here 6 6 and 7 but 52 and 52 same number so 6 and 7 we have to do 6 plus 7 divided by 2 because the two numbers similar 
so if you are calculating 6 plus 7 it is coming 13 divided by 2 so we get answer 6.5 so here 6.5 we are writing here 6.5 we are writing so it is 6 and 7 and after 52 we are having number called 50 we can give number 8 and after that 35 we can give number as 9 so this way we have made r y column also okay now here we have to make d column now d is nothing but r x minus r y so r x minus r y carrying it on 9 minus 9 is 0 1 minus 2 is minus 1 7.5 minus 6.5 is 1 so similarly we can do we can calculate this minus rx minus ry okay now d square is nothing but square of this values so square of 0 0 0 square of 1 1 this way you can do square of uh, 0 0.5 0 0.25 like that okay so we have made square of all these things huh? now then just add all this value if you are adding all this value you are getting summation d square d square and summation of all this is summation d square is equal to if you add all this value we are getting 3.50 all right now we have to put this value into the formula so see the formula as we have seen formula was p is equal to 1 minus 6 summation d square upon n into bracket n square minus 1 bracket complete this is the formula okay now 1 minus 6 into summation d square we got 3.50 there we have seen in the table that we got 3.50 divided by our n is 9 so 9 and into bracket n square you want so 9 ka square is 9 into 9 is equal to 81 minus 1 okay now n uh, 1 minus if you do this here 6 into 3.50 it is coming 21 and here 81 minus 1 is coming 80 and it is here 9 we are writing okay now simply if you calculate this 9 into 80 it's coming 720 so 21 divided by 720 if you calculate this we get answer 0 0.029 so 1 minus 0 0.29 and if you calculate this we get answer 0 0.97 okay so this is our p p value means correlation value we got it is high positive correlation now how it is positive because there is no minus sign if the value after one if its value is higher than one then answer come negative so then we can say it's a negative correlation but this value is plus it is not minus so it's high positive correlation okay it is not negative correlation so this way we can interpret but how to interpret this whether it's a high correlation or low correlation we need to understand that so there is one table i have given here you can see when see there is a value i have given an interpretation so when value it can be in plus or it can be in minus when 0 0.00 select a uh, 0 0.20 if that value coming in plus or minus whatever we can say it's always no correlation or it's avoidable correlation we can say no correlation almost no correlation or avoidable correlation when value coming 0 0.21 uh, to uh, 0 0.40 then we can say it's a weak or low correlation okay when value coming uh, 0 0.41 to 0 0.60 we can say as a medium correlation okay mm, uh, 61 to 80 0 0.80 it's a high high median correlation medium correlation and 81 say like a one tak if it is coming uh, then it is higher correlation or very high correlation or it can be positive or negative so this is the way we can interpret the value coming for p all right so i think it's simple to understand hmm. uh, if you have any query about it you can uh, write comment in the comment box okay and understand this and please don't forget to subscribe hmm. thank you so much